news, breaking news today after the whole episodic weirdness of the daily presidential COVID-19 briefings, after the drought of absolutely zero White House briefings that was preluded, of course, as we all probably still remember, by the certified clown show that was all the previous people at that podium. Today, we break new ground. Today, after three and a half years of clusterfuck struggle bussing through it, the Trump administration, God bless it, has finally found a competent, capable, eloquent enough, and uh, already right-wing enough drilled down to the bone in the alt-right talking points um, bobblehead person to stand up there at the podium and spar with the news media puppets on behalf of dear old Donald Trump and do it looking, you know, conservatively sexy with with a delightful, subtle uh, cross on a gold chain and the big, giant, watery eyes uh, and the, you know, kind of universal made-for-TV weather channel overall kind of cartoon look. I, ha- I don't mean to be disparaging. This this human individual who happens to be a woman is incredibly eloquent, well-spoken, and uh, very clearly uh, more than competent at their job, which you couldn't say all those things at once about most of the people who've had this job before her. I don't know her name because I'm not super on top of it today because I'm like fixated on a particular side project, but on my lunch break... Pop on the TV, all major channels are on this new, brand new White House briefing for the first time. For whatever reason, we're talking about Flynn and the grave miscarriage of justice that it was that he pleaded guilty to lying to the FBI. Apparently, there's a new paper trail and there's some evidence that there was some bias or prejudice against him. Yada, yada, yada. Corruption abounds, friends. I'm not here to defend any other side. I'm here to giggle at all the sides, playing all the same tactics to pit you against each other right down the middle of every divisive ideological division they make up for you. So it's not like I hate the Trump administration, and it's not like I'm defending the FBI. It's not like I hate the FBI and I'm defending the Trump administration. I get accused of every which way possible. I just think it's noteworthy that after literally weeks and weeks and weeks of extremes, we're suddenly presented with this new, new normal in terms of White House press conference news briefings that presumably, at least for this 24-hour news cycle, this is sort of the new poster child spokesperson for the White House. I don't know. Is Trump going to like barge in and argue or counter dict? No, this person seems to be way more already a duck in one of the rows, ready and willing and able to tow the the party administration slash Trump dementia line that must be towed. No offense, but for those who are unclear as to where I stand with Trump, I think he's a human being. I think he is a symptomology of deep spiritual trauma that needs healing. So above and beyond all political ideology, right? But when it comes to the practical mundane level of like, what is he doing? Is it is he playing 5D chess or is he playing checkers with a pigeon or something else? I think he's just a flawed human being that's painted himself into a political puppet corner. Maybe really thought he could make a big change, but like everybody else, fooled himself and his base into thinking that he could have more agency in that contextual phenomena that is the ongoing system that precludes and eclipses all individuals, in my humble opinion, in the way it operates. Uh, And that he, like most everybody else before him, has been hijacked and co-opted and has been given some free reign to do some of the crazy batshit, cuckoo, crazy, Trumptopian nonsense that he wants to do. And is also reined in at times as his behavior will seem to indicate, 
And at other times, um, you know, provided plenty of cover for suddenly no longer being uh, at the forefront of making a fool of himself every day in front of live television cameras. Um, for clarity, I am neither a Republican nor a Democrat. I know I've said this a couple times on the show, but I just, you never know when someone new is listening and doesn't know. Uh, I am a citizen of the world. I believe in community. And I believe in organization. And I believe in civic responsibilities. And I believe in, uh, you know, a bunch of things that are like the post- enlightenment iterations of all the sort of messed up corrupt things that we think are important and meaningful, but that are also inherently part of a hugely massively corrupt toxic system that has generated our current historical moment and all of its complexity. And yeah, uh, so I, first of all, I don't want to sound like too much of a cynic. Um, for the reasons of always celebrating diversity and equality, huzzah that they chose a woman. Um, huzzah that she seems capable and smart and is willing, I guess, for the benefit of those who are part of the base to really, really get out there and be the tosser of an alpha ganar chewer devourer of the red meat that must be thrown out, uh, vis-a-vis -vis these channels. Um, but, uh, you know, we can go down the rabbit holes of analyzing and dissecting and fact-checking and debating the content uh, that might get presented uh, through this new person at the podium. But uh, really, I just, I just wanted to acknowledge my shock and dismay. I was hoping, fingers crossed, for a week free of any mind-numbingly crazy, insane, news cycle-dominating uh, circle jerks of hypocrisy and self-contradiction uh, in the form of some attempt at leadership by Trump and Pence during this confusing, overhyped, but probably legitimate time of, of true medical emergency. I hope, right? Knock on wood. I could be wrong. It is a theory. It is a thesis based on my ability, very limited as it may be, to investigate and discern for myself, uh, and applying a bit of rhetorical logistic, not logistic, uh, rhetorical logic, uh, applying a bit of Akram's razor, the most likely thing that might very well be going on that would bitch smack us upside the head if we made a bunch of more stupid choices and mistakes along the way is that there is very much a, the highest probability thing that's going on is the one thing that everyone seems to want to ignore. That yes... There is some nefarious sort of, you know, power play to overhype and fearmonger and therefore tolerance test and kind of clusterfucky mess with us um, that is writing opportunistically in this moment and that is not as pre-planned and well orchestrated as one might fear based on their own fearmongering and the exaggerations of those who have caught on to the particular version of the pandemic or scandemic um but but honestly just based on the way it's unfolding all of the the nuances involved and the way that there's just like a chorus of chaos it's not actually making sense and yet seems to be sort of also following normal realistic organic boundaries and guidelines of like the way real life works in terms of you know not talking about politics real life but natural, organic, real world, real life. All of the, whatever nefarious efforts, not as well organized, not as anticipatorily well planned as one might fear. Otherwise, there wouldn't be such a huge display of incompetence at every turn. Unless, of course, that's inherently embedded in the script. Either way, there's a huge level of incompetence. Uh, and this is, I guess at least for their team, a shining beacon of new hope that there be no incompetence. Now, history being what it is, the questions are now, without trying to be offensive, I'm not trying to demean her or criticize her or put her down. I'm just analyzing this development as a puzzle piece, independent of her as an individual human being, given the pattern of history in this administration and uh, particularly this theme of 
persons at that podium, facilitating the messaging, the communication between uh, the administration as a whole of government entity, which is supposed to be fighting the deep state and the new world order, etc. Supposed to be, right? Not so much from their own mouths. <clears throat> I don't know that I've actually ever heard Donald Trump directly say that he himself is fighting the new world order in specific enough terms. I know he's probably intimated and insinuated and I, I haven't watched every effing minute of all the footage ever. And if one day I ever have the money and the resources and the staffing and the budget, I will do that documentary. Will I go through and, and hire a team of archivists and scrub through with, with very focused ears every word Trump has ever uttered on television or filmed um, and shared on social media, you know, from live events, etc. I want to get it all and like scrub it clean and find the weirdest. But I, I don't have that capacity now. So I, I presume, I could be wrong, I presume that it's highly probable that he's never actually, I mean, I know Pence never did, that I know of, and the same thing. I haven't watched every every second of every syllable uttered, uh, and, or that Sean Spicer, or that any of the other people. Um, did What's-His-Name ever dance the Fandango? I don't think so. But um bum Old joke. I don't know if any of those references are still actually up, or if those are on... Invariably or unfortunately, I've always been inside of some episode that got pulled. But uh, when what's his name was ever so briefly uh, the official spokesperson for the White House press conference briefing room, whatever you want to call that uh, that title, uh, his name rhymed with that thing. Uh, do you do the fandango? But anyways, I'm not going to go down that thing, and I can't remember what his name is right now. So, okay, so. The savvy people know who I'm talking about. So as a puzzle piece, this new individual, how long will they last? Independent of them as a person. I don't know who they are. I don't even know this lady's name right now. And that's not out of disrespect. It's just that it's new. I did, I, I've been working on another project all morning. And this is the first hot second that I've turned on the TV and really paid attention. And that they were at the White House in the press room doing a briefing. I don't even know what you're talking about other than going on about the grave miscarriage of justice that happened to Michael Flynn. But to the best of my understanding, he was not coerced unless he was, which I guess if that's about to play out, that'll be interesting. That'll be an interesting twist. And by the way, guys, let's pause for a moment and consider this. No matter how violently out of control, wackadoodle do, Trumptopian over the top excess level of cuckoo you think we're at now, there's still the October surprise that's going to hit us like a ton of bricks, I think. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that's one too many save the cat moments at the beginning of the movie, uh, or but rather translated into the October surprise uh, moment in the middle of the movie. But I suspect. Because then in November, we've got to contend with however the hell we're going to deal with a national election with an administration that's trying to eradicate the post office as a way to circumvent all mail-in voting in an environment where electronic or online augmentation or supplementation or replacement of voting is highly suspect because of some questionably bizarro kerfuffles already during this excruciatingly long primary season cycle, whatever you want to call it. And, you know, oh, that little fun forgotten toss aside fact that keeps getting touted by the center left mainstream media that the, according to all of the multi alphabet soup national security agencies that Trump wants to ignore, wants to lump together as deep state, wants to criticize as being part of the problem. According to all of them, Russia did indeed socially clusterfucky intrusionally do psyop operations and whatever you hack the election is not the right term but they definitely interfered with online activities 
that fucked with people's perspectives and minds and opinions in a way that is still... Well, some people are rapidly against it, as in they deny that it ever happened, that it's all a hoax from the left and it didn't happen at all. And you shouldn't worry about it all because this video that I'm watching right now proves it, which of course, curiously, may or may not turn out to be a video that originated from the Russian known sources of disinformation. And that they're likely to do it again. And we've got this scamdemic possibly a scandemic, but probably a real actual epidemic outbreak going on. And the part that, you know, I've been stressing about so much that I've almost recorded a late night's late night thoughts with Mitch's Epo a couple of times, but I've been too tired, freaked out and, uh, and incapacitated by my own insomnia and cannabis use, you know, cause I try to go to sleep and at night, that's when it's supposed to help me. And sometimes even it doesn't help, especially for some reasons I'm supposed to be up, I guess. But anyways, I've yet to talk about it much directly. But my greatest concern, of course, is that this pandemic may very well be a very real, natural, organically occurring, not man-made, not in a laboratory, not part of anybody's pre-calculated nefarious plan about what's supposed to happen right now for this election 2020 and that we're blithely treating it as though we know how to deal with it and that m m way too many people are sidetracked and trying to build momentum of dismissing it as a potential hoax, as a potential nefarious plan, as a potential nanobots technology thing, as spaceships, as aliens, as whatever the fuck. Choose your flavor. I've seen over 40, I think. I stopped really counting and just started ballparking the number. I'm like, I've seen way too many conspiracy theories about what it's really supposed to be. And that many of them can't all remotely be true. So if they're all really, really unlikely to be true because all of them came out at the same time and with the same fervent absolute truth attitude and the same us versus them neuro-linguistic programming, odds are almost none of them are true. And that it's impossible. If we all, for one reason or another, underestimate the reality that Mother Nature herself is truly mind-blowingly capable of creating a pandemic by her own means, then we're in for a big, you know, like, frying pan to the face lesson of how not to underestimate Mother Nature. Embrace yourselves, because that might suck. Not to sound depressing, but I digress. In this moment of news breaking news, I just wanted to, like, shout out to this particularly curious new turn of events... Uh, and, you know, lay out the question, how long is this uh, new individual going to last? Are they meant to be the new spokesperson that carries the message and, the, and becomes the new messenger through to the end of the election cycle? Because she certainly, in the few seconds that I've seen, and this is just first impression kind of stuff, is driving that kind of powerful, like, confidence and capacity. I'm like, I'm that capable. And she's certainly already, you know, throwing punches at the evil, nefarious, evil, overcorrupt, lying, lying, fake news left media. So stay tuned, watch this space, uh, and drop back into another segment of news breaking news in coming days to see what happens. <laughs> 